before everything, I praise the Lord for this retreat. Thank you for bringing me and everybody here, especially me to the retreat. Few things I will share. <clears throat> what I have learned in this retreat. My journey of this retreat starts from speak to the mountain is the first subject taken by Sister Anisha. It's my favorite subject. People are not living happily in their lives, all Christians. But this subject has made me and not only me, many others, how to live, how to speak to their problems, how to speak to the problems and live happily is the first teaching I got in uh, this retreat. Starting from there, <clears throat> the main theme of uh, the retreat is faith. So faith is in being taught. How the faith, the God kind of faith is being taught and uh, I need to practice that. I need to come to that. So many subjects start by Sister Anisha, like faith, righteousness, what is the meaning of born again, how to renew your mind, like this many things been taught, like a fantastic things. I studied many theologies, many books I read, but nowhere the real meaning of this word has been explained. In this retreat that has been done by Holy Spirit, thanks to the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Second part, she's just like a small, Trumpet of God. Trumpet means who gives the messages that song. Listen and be alert to yourself. It takes around uh, three to six months for me to digest all those messages. Each message will take around 15 to 20 days to meditate and understand. I have to get in mind that much. So thanks to sister also. God bless her. Second thing regarding brother Jude I want to talk about. Hope is the subject. Nobody will speak generally. Everybody speak about faith, faith only. But hope is the subject he took fantastically. It's the second subject. He taught many things like <clears throat> speaking in tongues, Holy Spirit, anointing. Especially the type of uh, hope, especially unwavering faith. He has taught very nicely, unwavering faith and greatest faith. Thank you, Brother Jude. Not only his teachings, but what I observed in these uh, six days is the character and the behavior attitude he possesses. The other day we have listened the Beatitudes. So some of the attitudes I find him, I observe him, I want to be like him uh, in my, after going there. So I think by his living. So after uh, accepting the God, one is changed means, renewing his mind means, somebody will take the example of the person who accepted Jesus. He is one of the Marvelous example which I took, I felt, I observed him during all these days. Some things I want to adopt the nature of him in my life. He's the, he's the, he's the hard nut to crack. That was his behavior. But how polite he is, everything. The other day I left my chapati paper there, he was holding and keeping it in the dust. So how smoothly is his behavior. I want to learn and adopt the nature of Brother Jude. Thanks Lord for his teachings and uh, his administering. <clears throat> Third thing is that what I learned is how to be joyful on the trial, Sister Sharon. It's a great thing she has uh, taught on the other day. If I go to Hyderabad, I will be going today. Tomorrow I will be there. My first teaching will be how to be happy and joyful in trials. That's God taught me through Sister Sharon. It's a big clap to her. It's a, it's a good subject. Many people are suffering, having problems of medical, this thing, that thing. How to be joyful? She taught very nicely through Holy Spirit. God uh, give her good blessing. And all other brothers like Brother Jude Junior. He's junior and he's senior. I name like that. <laughs> brother Senior and Brother Jude Junior. It's a very... You are senior, senior and he's junior. So they are teaching very sincerely. Very sincerely. So that the Holy Spirit wants us to learn. So the total outcome of this, this thing is, I read many books of God kind of faith. I could not understand. Everybody teaches faith. Even I teach many times. 
I start the preaching on other day on faith. Faith is seeing, saying and seizing it. How to see, how to say it, how to seize it. But I got stuck up at believing. If you go to Mark 11 and all, the belief I could not tell. I told the audience that there is a difference between faith and belief, but that belief I could understand here after coming here. So thanks to the Holy Spirit teaching. So hereafter, my trumpet, my teaching will be with authority, I may speak after learning this. That is the good teaching. It's a divine, godly kind of faith. How to possess. I learned much more in this reading. I like to come many times. And thank everybody, not only that, brothers like Pinto and other, uh, Deepak, they are helping me in other areas wherever I reach. Uh, I thank everybody, especially God bless those uh, teachers, uh, elders, brothers and sisters. And very nice people. Govan people are very nice. <laughs> what I have seen here. Yeah. <laughs> they are very soft. They are very kind also. Uh, thank you, Lord, for doing this miracle in my life. I could understand uh, the whole thing is that I am basically a preacher, a pastor also. Basically, the right understanding of the word is being taught here, which we have to learn, digest, meditate, and continue. And let God blessing sir and me to be with him how to walk in the spirit, that what he, she taught yesterday. Walking in the spirit means to possess the spirit in you. Everything, the word is filled with you, definitely you will walk along that. The difference between soul and walking in the spirit, she has explained nicely. So these are the things I learned here, how to behave myself, how to be in the God. And like Sujata sister, I learned the 518 of 1 Thessalonians, the pra praising you are getting the miracles and blessings of God. Very beautifully she has taught sister Sujata, thank to her also. I learned many messages, many things I learned here, which I never... And I, I taught uh, messages on the 518 many times in many houses. How to, and thanksgiving prayers are there. I go to many pray, prayers and teach the word of God. So beautifully I learned that I want to put it in practice myself. How to praise the God. What are the times to praise the God. Everything is nicely taught. Thanks God that he has given me good teaching and understanding. The Holy Spirit will lead me from here onwards. Thanks everybody. Thanks to God. Amen. 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 Praise God. We were told to read one chapter per day during this retreat, right? So I started my reading on Tuesday. And in the first chapter, of, uh, sorry, second chapter I read from the Gospel of Matthew. And it struck me that God used to talk with people in their dreams but and also when there is an assignment of your life with you God always see to that you are protected before uh, uh, until and unless you finish that assignment so that what I recollected from uh, the Gospel of Matthew, uh, chapter 1, chapter 2. And then I went to Mark, chapter 1, and there also, you know, God told me that I am the beloved of God. And you also gave me as Jesus has the preaching, healing and deliverance ministry. I call it as PhD. So I also have this PhD. Praise God. So I reached to Luke chapter 1 and this word always uh, is my favorite that Luke chapter 1, verse 38. 
let it be done to me according to your word. So I always pray this prayer, let it be done to me according to your word. Whatever I pray in my life, I always surrender my life to God. And this time also I said to God, Lord, let it be done to you, let it be done to me according to your word. So, uh, then I went to John, Gospel of John. There also it was like uh, Spirit of God uh, came down on Jesus. And I also felt that God's Spirit has touched me. And he has anointed me with his power to do, to bring God kind of results. I share many things with others uh, at home on WhatsApp. So many things which are taught here are helping me all the time. And I am going to recollect those things on my notes and I am going to refer back again the videos and collect more notes which will help me uh, to grow and to increase my knowledge and share this knowledge with others as I am the light of the world, reflecting the light of Christ to others. <laughs> Praise be to God for all the teachings and all the blessings we have received on this, uh, during this retreat time. I've, I cannot express the things which I have received because they are beyond my words. I don't have that much of vocabulary <laughs> to express all the things which we have received from the eternal uh, heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, to help me. Uh, I am actually from Karwar. Uh, I was touched in 2009 in somewhere else. Uh, I was just uh, in the word that I knew that there, that God, who somebody is there. Before I used to think this, all these things are they are want to collect money. This many mindset. My mindset was not that uh, this thing. When I was, somebody sent me from Pune, this uh, teachings of Papa Johnson in NCH, in, uh, COVID before that was. That time, she sent, Sister Vilma sent me from Pune. Then I was hearing and I said, what this telling, speaking about the mountain, this, we never had. We, our uh, theologies, we have to pray for them, pray, pray for me, give me blessings, Father, this, that, this, that, in that. But when I started renewing my mind, by listening to these teachings, really, my life was supernatural. Really, I'm saying, I heard many teachings, teachings I'm hearing, hearing, and daily in my life, I make my corrections. Still, I'm lacking something, and I want to learn more. My hunger is only one, to learn more and more in Christ, and to give Christ to others in Jesus' name. Pass. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Father. First of all, I will give thanks to JCLM team uh, and Papa Johnson is my good friend. On uh, I, though I had not uh, seen him live, but on uh, YouTube. And first, I will give thanks to see all his free over here, living, preaching, and uh, to stay. Everything, food, I give thanks for everything to JCLM team. And especially Brother Jude, I know him in something COVID, uh, COVID time. I had called, called him once. He's coming to preach all the way from Tamil Nadu to here. And we are getting scared to in, uh, go to preaching Goa to Goa. And Brother Jude is coming all the way from Tamil Nadu. I 
Thank him to him and his family to be. Uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, brother. And all our brothers and sisters, I don't take their time, their names, but I, especially Sister Anisha, I have to call her. And see, his daughter is here, and she is leaving her at home, and she is coming to give. God's word over here. See how travel to her also and his family. I give thanks to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise Lord. Praise God. First and foremost, I would like to thank all the preachers who have preached such a good word for all of us. And especially the people who are gathered over here, the God's children, thank you a lot. Actually, I never knew anything about the Bible all these years. Like, we used to take the Bible, we used to read, and when we used to walk place, I walk on a ship. I mean, we used to, pillow, we used to put it under the pillow. Someone said to me, this is like chapter was. Chapter was like only just four lines before going to sleep. Wherever the finger goes, remove it, just open, go to back to sleep. Because we wanted a sound sleep. Nothing else. Because we have to wake up early in the morning on ship, like we are called anytime. Atam yo Magir yo. And I was the in charge for the section. So it depends. Magir Amizal, best in like any any page, just remove and teach. Now like brother Pinto, like Philip Pinto, he's from neighbor of mine. He said to me, yo, and I used to drink a lot. When I go on vacation back home, I used to drink a lot, lot, lot. Every vacation, every vacation. Drink, but not falling on road or something like this. But <laughs> I used to enjoy a lot. Then one day I just went to this, you know, when Sister Anisha taught, faith can move mountains. I'm going to think Karwar was on the way to Karwar, there are two mountains. I'm thinking, Anik Brija. Anik Brija. But we never knew the meaning of it. It only said, Bible, and Father is Father, Santa, faith can move mountains. When we were small, we know, faith can move mountains. But I heard faith is just like a mustard seed. I used to, I had a drink. I was just <laughs> I was just sitting and I said, faith can meet Lord of Mountain. And so, there's a next, it's the Arabian Sea. <laughs> so, I was just sitting there, I was sitting on the, staring at Bola Allah, and I was just watching. Faith can move mountains. It's Lord of Mountain, how come such a big mountain can fall? So, there's the Arabian Sea. So, I said, what is this, what is this, what is this? Might be, I'm not that. It's a holy bit now because I can see, and I said, what's on Sokoil Podmon? Go and fall in the sea. Then when I came over here, I came to know it's not actually that mountain, it's those sins which are beneath you, together with whatever hatredness and blah, 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 all these things which are there inside you. Those are the things we have to cast out in the oceans. Thanks a lot, sister, for the sister for it. And I thanks most Sangpa Mulder. This is my second time I'm coming over here, and I learned something more from each and every day, like Bible from there. It's not a step behind, it's a step ahead to go. So like it, it's not directly you get it. It's like step by step, step by step, you're going to get it. Thanks a lot. Praise, praise Jesus. Thank you. First of all, I would like to say thanks to all the brothers and sisters because I've got a better understanding. And uh, this uh, faith, hope, love uh, has worked wonders. And through my experience, I can say that I've forgotten all the fears and I will live with this throughout my life. So, yeah, so, praise God. Praise God. So, I just want to tell. So, it was my last year when I had come on vacation. My father took me once in Machwadda. There with Jesse I used to go there. I heard uh, the preaching take some learning, come back home, back to see how I was. So, I back, went back on, on the ship, I worked on the ship, so I go over there. Many troubles were there. When I was working also, many hard times were there. I just, it, when it was the hard time for me, I should come to my cabin, open the Bible, just read, oh, God will help me now. Go back to work. It was like that for me. But nothing happened. It was a hard time, it was hard time only. Then, now I came back on, back on my vacation. I, so, my sister was here. She had come for the retreat. So, I had come with my father to pick her up. So, 
So that time my father told me, here is the place. He had told me once when I was going to Majorda also, there is a retreat which is there in Ponda. Would you like to join? Go there. I said, I don't want to go. Why will I waste my time going here? So it is my five days, I'll go enjoy myself. That's what I have thought. I said, last, last, last time I didn't come here. He said, come here, but I never thought of it. Then this time when I had come to pick my sister, I just thought. Then again, when I go, went back home, like I saw, I thought, should I go, should I not, should I go, should I not. Then when there was this, this November retreat was there, so we, were, we three were just sitting over in the hall. My father told her to register herself because she already know how to register it. And I, he just asked me, would you like to go? I said, no, I don't want to go. Uh, okay, he said, okay. He said, he don't want to say anything. He said, okay. Then again, when the time was there, like, it started now. So before registering, he asked me again, would you like to go? That time I didn't say a word. He just took his phone. He registered my, my, my ID and all everything on, by, by himself. He said, okay. He want me to go, okay, I will go. He's like, forcefully. Sister and all asked, anybody come here forcefully? I felt like that, I'm going forcefully now. I didn't have any desire to come here. So like, so I forcefully, but not. My Holy Spirit wanted to come, 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 wanted to get me over here. That's why I'm here now. So I came here. On the way, I'm asking her, how it is? What time it starts? What time you get finished? Baby, I have to sleep. Oh, okay, okay. And she, she just told me like this, like this, the things are there. Okay, I came here first day, I just heard the faith, everything, the teachings were there. Little, little understanding, which I have to get, I got it. Then, next day, I go to her. She was, we were just sitting, i like, I can't get sleep over here. I can't sleep here. I'm going home, I'll come next day. Like, after finishing finish the session, I, I thought I, I'll go home. I'll come back in the morning, I'll listen to the sessions, I'll go back home, I don't want to sleep here. You know, so it was like, okay, that's what I thought. And she's like, what do you do? Go and tell the father, back home, why are you coming back home? I'm like, oh. Like, then I came back home, I just prayed. I said, I'm not comfortable here, try to help me. I just prayed, next day, I was comfortable. <laughs> then, the way they, did, they taught us, like I know now I know what it means. First, like how I should just open, just read. I don't know the meaning of it, but now at least the the part they took, the small small thing, uh, things they taught us. Now I can understand where I can start, what it means, what I can do for from it. Now have God, Holy Spirit brought me over here. He have something for me to do, and I. I trust in him and he will make, guide me every way where whatever I have to do. Praise God. Praise be to God. Um, so the day one when I had uh, got up from the bed, uh, because I was all healthy and suddenly I had a catch and it was so much of pain that I couldn't even walk. At home I was limping. Then uh, my mom asked me, are you sure you want to go because, you know, from airport you have to walk a long distance. Then I said, no ma, I will go, whatever it is, I will go. Then I came, uh, limping only came actually. And then uh, day one, I struggled, but still I was telling like, you know, by the stripes of Jesus, I'm healed. And the next day, uh, when uh, Sister Sharon was uh, taking the session, she mentioned uh, God is the giver of life to the dead. And, you know, he calls into existence, uh, that does not exist. Then uh, that word came to me so powerfully. That moment when I'm sitting here only, I received that power. I said, if that could, you know, a life can be given to dead, I'm already fine, but only the pain that is there will is healed already. That's what I'm repeating. And that moment I felt that healing, uh, you know, in fact, uh, I felt that completeness, you know, in my body. Then as I was walking up to the uh, stairs, I felt slight pain. Then I said, how come now again it's paining? Then I said, no, I'm not allowing that thought to come to me because already God has healed and I'm not letting this physical pain to, you know, come to my mind. 
and uh, from that moment on i i forgot that i had a pain you know to that extent i'm healed by god's grace uh, which he has already promised i received it and i'm enjoying that health today so praise be to god for that word which is so powerful which is working because uh, at home i used to tell you know my mom because last time i had come for the retreat um, uh, by the stripes of jesus we are healed but i didn't know until it worked for me i didn't know how much of power the word has so i praise god for every word that is spoken uh, i i can feel within my spirit the kind of renewal that has taken place so that's why today i'm able to boldly stand here and witness that uh, our jesus is awesome and the holy spirit who works does great and wonderful things i praise god for that and for all the preachers because uh, the love of god that we speak about uh, that is witnessed here in everyone so you know that makes it more real and true so i thank god for this uh, opportunity to bring me here and to uh, train my mind to renew my mind and make me uh, who i am in christ that identity is what i'm carrying and i know i'm going to bring testimonies for jesus amen amen, amen. amen. Thank you. praise god thank you god love you jesus love you my lord love you holy spirit for bringing me here and giving me the um, confidence to speak holding the mic because i normally cannot do it they hold the mic for me and this is my fourth retreat i think that i but i just want to tell one thing that what touched me this time was on love anisha had spoken about love sister anisha so what happened is Uh, in the last retreat maybe in jan uh, there was someone whoever has hurt me so i could not i could not get over it i could not get, but then when the retreat got over i forgave that person and it was over so i felt in my heart that i have forgiven that person why i am explaining this because even normally everybody does it and i i used to do it but means after the retreat i had stopped but this thing happened and i forgave that person it's over and now such a long time i seen that person again oh my god it started bothering me too much too much but when sister was explaining about love it hit my heart and um, the holy spirit told me that i have to apologize or i have to really forgive that person whatever the thing is so i said okay 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 i was saying all the time finally i got up and i went to that sister and i told her i apologize i'm sorry so she said for what i have not done anything to you i said yes you hurt me i said how i said your attitude so what i want to only express and explain to everybody means when we speak love let it be real love you know what i am saying because we don't realize we are hurting the opposite person when we talk with attitude so then everything was fine we kissed each other we hugged each other and everything was over so i was very much satisfied that it's gone from my head now got my point only that only love and again and again i'm telling i'm saying that uh, we need only only love whoever the person is whatever the person is just love and everything falls in place thank you jesus thank you jesus sorry i don't know from where to begin but thank thank you jesus for bringing me here the first word which i heard in jcllm is which i went to, entered into my mind and heart is about the tongue proverb 1821 my tongue is really good <laughs> then to train my tongue i started telling to others like you no know, see 
proverb 18.21 says, whatever it says, it becomes true and you have to bear the consequences. By telling like this, then I realized I should. Then I started uh, to watch JCLM because this word came from JCLM. Then in the YouTube, as the JCLM, some talks were coming. Some talks I watch, especially when, when it came to uh, Anisha actually. This small girl's what she will tell. I passed off. Then again, <laughs> I, it went back. Yeah, cute girl. I can watch. Uh, then, no, like the second time. Then third time also when it came, yes, I watched her, oh, watched her video. Then slowly, slowly, I jumped to whichever, like my, uh, especially I watched up Brother Johnson's Purpose of Holy Spirit, like, no, that I watched because my, I love Holy Spirit because he loves me. I don't know from the beginning. In the two sense, I don't know where I will end, but I'm sorry. So it may be long, I don't want to be long. Uh, when I was, I'm a nurse. When I was in nursing, second year, somebody, some preacher had come. That time there was the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I didn't know about it and uh, after the anointing, I fell down. After that, yes, I know this, I have attended the retreat, I went to Pota, Moringor, Logos, everywhere, but I never fell down and I have not, but I know something is there inside, but, and um, the continuity of my, in my nursing, I love my patient, I used to do my work with love and uh, I appreciate my working also, thank God for that. And certain happens during, now I am retired, before retiring, I went through certain things that my director of my, my in charge, I was a supervisor, the amount she was hating me up to the core time. And I was telling to Jesus, you said, love your enemy. And I feel she has the enmity so much, so many grievances she made to write, so many things like um, HR used to call me, so many grievances. I said, what should I do? But those who have written the grievance, they have to come and cry, sister, because she forced me to write, I have written. Then, praise the Lord, what I can tell, because I am working there, and I want to work, I love my work, I want to serve the patient, even the smallest thing I want to do for the patient. Then, how to love enemy, give that love to me, so that I can love. Then, how to love, then, I love her, I love, I, I used to tell her name and I love her, I love, I love, love, like that I started telling. Then certain things when I was talking to her, continuously, Alleluia, praise the Lord, Jesus be with me, I don't know what I am going to answer, like that it was. Then finally, when certain times when she is, suddenly I will go to the uh, Google, in the, in the wards only there are uh, computers, and I will type this, during this hurt time or two, like, some words I'll get and I'll continuously, I will say that. Those days I did not have this, uh, this knowledge of this word of God. But I used to do that and convince my heart, yes, with this love will come. So finally I started loving her, even though she was not loving me. I started loving her and that, that everything's turned upside down, like she started liking me, she started telling about me, she's very good and 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 all. Finally, during the retirement stage, she really loved me and she kept in touch with me still today. She's in good terms with me, like uh, Sobina pray, pray for, like Sobina, how are you? Like that and all, she 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 will ask me a certain, till that time I have, thank you Jesus, praise you Jesus for that and for this JCLM, I really experienced new thing here. I have come here first time and never we we have I have experienced like this teaching and uh, making us to understand the word of God is here in JCLM. I got it in Ponda. Yes, I got it and I will continue it. And one more thing is about the Holy Spirit to tell you, yes, I had a first fall there. After that, I have gone many places, anointed, crying for come Holy Spirit. But where we did not realize that Spirit is within us, which our teaching helped us to know. Then yesterday, I am a little fast, everything should be fast first. So, uh, okay, I, the small, small things which when I was sleeping, 
I saw that something is there uh, up, like you know, I was telling to Agnes today. <laughs> uh, then, Yo, who is cleaning here? Like that I thought, nobody is cleaning types. Then today, I only took the broom, it happened to take the broom and went to cleaning the room. So, uh, the Holy Spirit is telling me, you only was complaining, no? You clean it. No, I said, why should I do that? I will, I will do this, came. And yesterday you were complaining. No, no, it's okay, somebody will clean. Again I started. Then again I went back. No, I will clean. And I cleaned that. Like, like this, I thought, huh, this is what the change of soul from the spirit. I realized it within me. Even though it is maybe a small matter, but no, I listened to the Holy Spirit and I will continue it. And about anointing of the Holy Spirit, one of the sisters said, today anointing is there, you may fall. Then said, no, no, I will not fall. <laughs> then I came here, I know I will not fall. I was sure that I will not fall. Then standing, then I don't know what happened. Seriously, I don't know what happened. Something on my head, some light came to me and l from the head, like no, some heaviness is passing and going out. I became so light, like feather light and I fell down as the, I know the each movement of the falling and to the ground so softly like somebody is making me to sleep. Thank you. Thank you Holy Spirit. And I have really that Holy Spirit power. I have, I will keep it. I will give this word of God to the world with my, not with mine, with the help of the Holy Spirit is within me. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Thank you, JCLM. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.